that the rotation trick works here in the card view as well. So if I take this and I rotate this here, you can see all the cards rotate, which I think is just really cool. I rotate it back, <laughs> and I just spin right back. So I've shown you how WebOS lets you finally really work the way you want to work today. But there is a dark side. The more connected I am to everything out there, the more other people are bugging me. Ever since I got here to Vegas, uh, you know, one of my coworkers, Andy, he's been trying to get a piece of me. And so it's inevitable that if I'm in the middle of doing something, I'm going to get interrupted. I'm working on my grocery list here. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> now, we can't do anything about your friends or their manners, <laughs> but we can put them in their place, which is down here at the bottom of the screen. I can easily focus on what I'm doing. My application completely stays live. And then when I see something I do care about, because it's at the bottom of the screen, it's easy to tap on and act on. Tickets to Studio 54, you bet I'm in. Now the notifications work beautifully with the cards, because when I do choose to change focus, I don't have to go hunting for where I was before, Let's go back to the cards and resume right where I was. The notifications work anytime WebOS needs to get your attention. Uh, IN, text messages, alarms, voicemails, anything. <laughs> and any developer can use them. Now, if you miss something or you choose to ignore it, we store all those icons down there in the lower right corner. So they're easy for you to get to unobtrusively. I pop them open and I get what we call a little dashboard here where I can see all the information I need. At a glance, I can see the number of messages left, a little preview of what's going on. I can, I can act on this, just dismiss the ones I really don't want to deal with, or tap on the ones I actually do care about. But the dashboard is more than just about messaging <laughs> interruptions. It gives me a way to control everything that's on the device. So for example, say I'm listening to music. If I actually listen to some music. And uh, I'm doing something else as an email or whatever. You'll notice we created a notification for the music player as well. And I open that up and I get the dashboard entry for music. And it's cool, I can see who it's who's playing it, the name of the track. I even get the album art, although it's not a very uh, pretty album art. I have control right here. I can advance to the next track easily. And of course, it is completely live. That's a little better. And if I'm in the middle of doing something, you know, I want to put it on pause, it's easy to do that as well with the dashboard. But the best part about the dashboard and the notifications here is that they are a completely open design. Developers can write anything for it, stocks, weather, RSS, photo feeds, whatever you can imagine. You can put in any controls and graphics you want. It's just CSS, HTML, and JavaScript like every other app I've shown you now. Now this principle of control is so important to us that we apply it even to the most urgent alarms. On any other device, if it decided there was something really important going on, like maybe a party after a demo or something like that, it would get all completely in your face. It would cut off what you were doing. The palm will never do that. Even the most urgent applications happen down there at the bottom. So if I'm writing my list of stuff here, you can see the application itself resizes to use the available space. It stays completely live. I can finish my thought, and then when I'm ready, I can deal with the notification. Now this notification actually gives me some options to really deal with it. I can snooze it and dismiss it, but I can also reach out to the people participating in this event with just one touch and let them know maybe I'm going to be running a little late or any other message I'd like to send them. So just like that. 
the big nose patients are also completely open in design. So I can't wait to see what kinds of stuff developers are going to put in them. I've shown you a lot. I've shown you cards, which is a completely new metaphor for managing multiple activities on mobile. I've shown you contacts, calendar, email, and messaging, all in synergy with the web, and an awesome web browser for the rest of the web. You've got instant keyboard access to everything on your device and off, and dashboard control and oversight of everything. WebOS really gives you so much control and so much power with UI that is almost invisible. With that, I'd like to invite John to come back on stage and take it from